We're going to take a quick look at how to synchronize the events captured with Dartfish's EasyTag iPhone application with a video that we've already got within the Dartfish software. First thing we're going to do is play our video and find the position at which uh, our first tag has been entered. Now I know for this that my, my very first tag was the start of the game. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. Step two is go up to the import in the top left hand corner, select import events, and you'll see on my desktop here I've got two CSV files, one called rugby, one called trial. Um, they've got there via um, being downloaded from my email, um, and for this one I want the, the rugby file, so I'm just going to select that and press open. And you'll see on this page um, it allows us to to import all of the different events, um, we can choose which categories we want. So across here, I've got game action, infringement, scores, and set pieces. And then on the select columns, we've also got the option to give position, duration, name, um, and there's also a time format issue. Um, with some people, they'll find that they get the position and duration saying zero if their time format's not set correctly. Um, so what you need to do is just make sure the, the time format is set to hours, minutes, seconds and milliseconds. And you'll see that makes the position and duration correct. Next thing we do, click next. This gives us a video of uh, all the different events um, and it also allows us to synchronize um, the video should it not be at the right place. You can use the get playhead uh, button for that. Um, and as our playhead's already there, so we're just going to press that. Um, and it's actually 14 seconds into the video here. After that, you can choose which events you'd like to import. In this case, I'm going to keep them all. Um, it's only a very short test um, of the easy tag function, so I've just captured five minutes there. And then click finish. Then you'll see on the right hand side, I'm given all the names, the positions of the tags, duration. If we scroll across, um, you can see all my other categories in there as well. If I want to go to our first penalty, if I press play, you'll see that takes me to the first penalty. I've also got the option to sort these by name, so I can watch all the, all the three penalties in order. Or if I want to jump to the scrums, I can jump and review the scrums. If there's something I've missed, I can use my native tagging panel within the software to add that in. 